Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my 100 baby challenge in The Sims 4. So today we are starting off exactly where we left off in the previous episode, however in real life it's been a whole entire week. So I don't really remember why I didn't play any more off camera after yesterday, but I guess we'll just uh, have to go ahead and wait and see. So we have Faye who is at school right now, she's not doing too hot. But, oh wow, <gasps> wait, what? Her project was thrown out? That is just depressing. Uh, Okie dokie, now she has the potential of uh, getting her grades up today, but we shall see. Why is David Rossi here? And then we also have Mr. Galileo. Now, have you done your homework or anything like that? I believe he only just aged up, to be completely honest with you. So let's go over to him. Okay, he's just about to grab himself some food. So I'll just, I'll press play and we'll just see how we go. And then we also have a little Heli. Now you've only just uh, aged up as well. All right, that's fine. We can work on you. That's perfectly fine. What was that? Wow, okay. Could you, excuse me? Why can't we clean out your dirty plates? Okay, that's interesting. I'll just go ahead and drag them from here. Is there anything on them? There actually is, are you kidding me? And they're not even bad. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so after you've eaten, since the uh, maid is just like standing there doing literally nothing, go ahead and clean up spoiled food. Or we could even have Venus go ahead and clean out the spoiled food. So Venus has only just found out that she's pregnant. She's literally, well, I mean, a little bit ago towards the end of the last episode she's not even in her second trimester yet which means we're not going to be having a baby in this episode unless i kind of skip through a little bit so that we actually can uh get on with that because it would be really nice to go ahead and finish up with the space name so that we can move on to the crystals and gemstones so what are you doing my little lovey hang on who's calling you and why oh no 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 no, we cannot be an author. What are you talking about? Oh, right, 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 right. We should probably... I'm still so confused about that whole birth certificate situation because I know we've had more than 47 children. Like, it just, it does not really make too, too much sense to me as to why that uh, is wrong. But anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna come over here and open up these random presents because that's just... Excuse me, what are you doing yelling at this poor little stray? Dixie, you poor little thing. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, she's uh, she's just gone to sleep. That's uh, cool beans. You go and open up those. Wow, my, my voice is leaving me today. You go ahead and pick up those little presents and we'll see what the cats and dogs of this world have given us. Did I just see a squirrel? Oh my gosh, is that an actual squirrel? Are you kidding me? It's a squirrel. I mean, a really badly rendered squirrel but a squirrel nonetheless i have literally I, I honestly don't think i've ever seen a squirrel before can we do anything in this bush or is it just like a bush <laughs> all right i think it's just a bush that's fine the children are home did i hear oh my goodness she did get her grades up oh wow i was not paying attention so she's a grade a student and she does uh, her responsibility or whatever it is her value traits don't have to matter right now although wow she really needs to start working on them holy moly i wonder which one we can actually get up quicker so wow she's already an a student let's just have her do her homework real quick because that'll help with her responsibility and then once we've done that we'll have her blow our candles up so cool that's already one makeover for this episode wait i think it's actually been longer than a week since i recorded the last episode because i think it was a week ago that i recorded the makeovers for the end of the last episode because I didn't do it when I actually finished recording last time. Look, I don't know. It's been a while, okay? It has definitely been a while. I just feel like I'm so out of the loop. <laughs> I really do. But that's, I guess it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, you're not going to eat the cake. Holy moly. No, 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 no. You're going to eat this. And then after that, what you can do is go ahead and get yourself a little shower. How's your responsibility going? Uh, doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Cool beans. So once you're actually finished with your uh, regular homework, we'll also, I mean, yeah, we'll have you do this stuff and then we'll have you do your extra credit because obviously that's important. And Galileo is not going into school until tomorrow. So that's all good. We've already had him do his homework. That's all, yeah, cool. 
Cool, he is ready to go for uh, school tomorrow, which is absolutely fan flippy dippy tastic. Now, excuse me, oh my goodness. No, no, that's not happening. That is not happening. We are going to be disciplining you. We're going to ask you not to make a mess because that's against the rules, my lovey. Absolutely against the rules. And yes, honey, check out that outfit. It looks so cute with a little pregnant belly. And who are you? We are going to give you a flirty introduction because uh, you could be a potential baby daddy. Hello, hello, hello. Sweet, at least now he's in our panel. Maybe we should add him to the group. What's his, what's his, excuse me, what's your name? Izamu, okay. So where's the groups? We'll go over to this group and let's actually add you in here. There we go, so now you're in our group bud. Oh yes indeedy. Ooh, ooh, I forgot about that, Derek. I don't think we ever had a baby with him, to be honest with you. Oh, I really do not think that we did. Oh, oh my gosh, I nearly forgot about Zane. Let's go uh, strengthen his connection if he needs it. <laughs> Cause I want him to, oh boy. Uh, yeah, let's actually, I mean, he's still there. So that, he, it should be fine. It, it should, should be fine. Yeah, okay. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is we're actually going to go and age up Faye into a teenager, and then I'm gonna play a couple of days, or I'm gonna play a day or so off camera so that we can actually get a little bit of a move on in terms of uh, the pregnancy. So just stop everything you're doing and go ahead and blow out your candles because she doesn't actually need to have her responsibility in range as a child. She has to have it in range to become a young adult. So she's got her A grade, that's all she actually technically needs to age up into a teenager. Now she's aging up into a teenager and her child trait was proper. So if I could just find proper right there, all the way down the bottom and then let's go. She wants to be a master actor and she's going to be a dance machine. Alrighty, and there we go. That's our lovely Faye. So now that we've aged her up, I'm actually going to go ahead and just play a little bit off camera and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So, I mean, I have played through a little bit. I've played through almost a whole 24 hours, which means that Venus should be almost in her third trimester. Yeah, so in three hours, it'll be her third trimester, which is all good. Now, oh wow, the, uh, that's broken. Actually, I've been having Venus uh, try to work on her handiness skill. So I'm going to have her go ahead and repair that fridge right now. I've had Faye actually take up the cross stitching skill as her skill for school and everything like that. The one that she's going to be working on. Oh wow, she's already got the little golden tick of approval for her A grade, but she doesn't have a skill up, nor does she have any of these in range, which means we do still have quite a little bit of work to do with her. So I've got her queued up to do her homework and she's going to eat some food, obviously, and then I'll have a go to the toilet and continue on this, which I actually got for her uh, off camera, I believe. And then we've got Galileo who is working on his homework. Now, oh, excuse me. Yes, she does like handiness, amazing. So he's still a C grade. It was only his first day of school today. And he was actually quite late actually, which was kind of uh, my bad, but it, it is what it is. He was a little bit stuck. So I had to go ahead and reset him. We have Hallie working on his skills his communication and imagination are already absolutely amazing so you're actually gonna go grab some food now my lovey what is this hello what is this i want to know meatless monte cristo what on earth is a monte cristo like i actually do not even know but if there's a meatless version then i'll try that <laughs> cool cool so you are gonna go ahead and eat your food and then your mum needs to kind of give you a shower because you're really really stank stank eh? you should uh, actually go to the toilet real quick do you not have like the steel bladder trait? Because I swear that that is something that I would have gotten for you. I wonder why you constantly needing to go to the toilet? Did I really actually never even get that for her? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it does add a little extra level of uh, fun, I guess you could say, to have to have her constantly going to the toilet. Let's have her go ahead and practice her speech just to work on her aspiration. I'm gonna throw that in the bin. Hallie, oh yeah, that's right. So you do actually need a shower, but you know what? You can just keep on stinking for right now, my bud, because I don't really care. You're gonna go and do some more what's that interactions with the bear. And then as soon as you've gotten level two of your thinking, I can have you on the blocks. 
Who is calling you and why? Sure, we'll have a chat with Bluebell. Why not? Venus can now take family leave. Oh, that actually means that she should be in her third trimester now. Cool, so we have 24 hours before she has the baby. Okie dokie. Actually, my love, you're kind of... Actually, nah, you're fine. You're perfectly fine. Let's just not worry about that phone call with Bluebell anyways. Sweet level 7 charisma skill. That is so good. Is this actually technically the last part of the aspiration? Oh wow, it actually is. That's really cool, actually. I love that. So, Hallie, you're all good besides needing to go uh, to the bathtub. You could grab yourself some food. Okay, you are, you are feeling a little bit hungry. Can we do... No, we can't do any thing really oh well you should be getting a b grade at school tomorrow actually so that's really really good you could work on your responsibility actually so what could we actually technically do to have you do that we'll grab another project out and that's what he can do so you go ahead and do some extra credit by working on that oh wow that lagged for a second and kind of terrified me <laughs> you know no we're, we're just gonna, I, I can't stand the stinking toddler, so we're gonna go and give him a bath. A bubble bath so that his fun can be risen at the same time as his cleanliness. Are you stupid? Give him a bubble bath. Hello? What the hell? The butler's in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, give him a bubble bath in this bath then. Come on, just hurry up and do it, why don't you? I don't know why you just sucking about the fact that he's a stinky toddler but you're not cleaning him oh 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 is 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 that is that how it's gonna be is is that how it's gonna be okay can you please bathe your toddler literally i'm gonna like oh my gosh bathe the toddler he's so stinky come on i know you're about to pass out but guess what get over yourself bathe the toddler oh my gosh five years later Wow. <laughs> so, Hallie should be nice and clean now, which means he can go back to doing some what's that interactions with the stupid bears over here. Faye, my love, you're working on that, which is great, but actually, oh sweet, that's really helping. That's really good. You're also super duper tired, so just go to bed, quite honestly, and you, my little lovey, go ahead and take a quick little shower and... I mean, yeah, you can just go to bed as well. It just, let's just call it, call it quits for the day. We'll just literally call it quits for right now. You just go straight to sleep. I don't even care that you need to go to the toilet and that you're hungry. Just go to sleep, honestly. Right, well, it's the morning. So Galileo is getting himself ready for school. Hallie's actually asleep because he was up till like 4 a.m. Uh, trying to talk to the bears and going to the toilet. We got to level two of thinking and basically, yeah, we just have to work on these three skills now, which should be, uh, I, I want to say easy, but probably not actually that easy. Let's be real. Oh, actually you could, once you get out of the shower, continue. Oh, you've already, uh, you've finished it. Okay. I mean, you do still need it. Oh, uh, you're not going to have time. You do still need to get your skill to level three. So I'm actually wondering... I mean, not that she can age up yet anyways, because she does need to get her responsibility in range. So I, uh, I guess that's really not too... Yeah, that's not really too important then, let's be real. So what are you doing? You want to read something and have a water balloon fight. Uh, but you've actually got to go to school right now. So how about you just go to school and you, my darling, finish your cross-stitching, or actually rather just cancel your cross-stitching so that you can go to school, because that's something that you need to do. And we can obviously just resume that after school. Now, Venus, my love bug, what are you doing? You, what, uh, let's go ahead and resume your cross stitching. And are you okay? You're actually perfectly perfect. Sweet. We love when our Sims are having, uh, when they're in great moods, when they're, when their motives are quite high. We love, we love. Oh, you've got some spoiled food in your inventory too, my sweetheart. So how about you go ahead and take care of that now? Also. I know who I want to have the next baby with. I don't think we're going to put Sealy Booth in just yet. From Bones, that is. Maybe he could be the next one after the one that I've got lined up for her now. I really want to go to Cottage Living. Cottage Living, oh my gosh. I want to go to Henford on Bagley and have her have a baby with somebody from that pack because I just think that would... I mean, we did it with Eco Lifestyle, so I figure that we may as well go ahead and do it with the new expansion pack as well. So, Hallie is obviously still sleeping, that's perfectly fine, he can continue that. 
it should be relatively easy to get his skills up, like honestly. Now, you, my darling, okay, you're definitely going to be getting your B grade today, that's for certain. Look how close he is to getting his golden tick. As for Faye, she's a little bit further behind, but that is perfectly okay because she does have to work on her responsibility regardless. He is so close to getting level 3 of body. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, amazing. Oh my gosh, I nearly called him Galileo, sorry. Hallie, that was amazing, okay? Now, I'm gonna have your mum come and... Wow, that storm is really loud. I'm gonna have your mum actually teach you some shapes because I feel like you'll get your shapes quicker if, it, uh, if your mother's helping you. So I'm gonna have her help you with that. The kids should be here from school any second now. Let me just quickly check on them. Yeah, so you're all good. You need your grades up and etc. Okay, good. You're certainly getting your B grade today. No job, please and thank you. Okay, so my little love bug. Hopefully your mumsy can like really, really help you out with this. And then movement's easy. You know, you just kind of make them run around or you can just have them stack with the blocks and that also helps. Okay, grades are up, amazing. Yep, cool. So Faye obviously needs to work on her skills. Actually, she's got a logic skill. Maybe we can have her work on her logic, get that to level three instead of cross stitching. Uh, but first and foremost, let's have you take care of yourself. Grab some leftovers and we'll pop your earbuds into your ears. Just maybe like some kids radio or something. And that should help with your fun levels. And then your food. Also after your food, do your homework. And after your homework, go ahead and do that. Now you've already got your earbuds in, which is really good. Do some homework and you should be all good. Now, should we work on your emotional control or, res or your responsibility? I mean, I guess just whichever uh, is, whichever you start naturally working on, maybe. Oh no, sweetie, you're tired again? Oh, go to sleep. I swear to God, the toddlers are always like dead tired. It's actually ridiculous. How far did you get? Not very far at all. All right, that is kind of sucky, I'm not gonna lie. You're good, you're good, and you are not good. Oh, my lanta. Go use the toilet and then grab some leftovers. Ugh. You should, uh, you should be going into labor very, very soon. Why is there no option for leftovers or did I just miss it? Hello, here we go, leftovers. Why are we lagging? What is going on? She should be going into labor literally any second. I'm so excited. You can grab some leftovers as long as you're doing your homework. For some reason, Faye put her homework down over here, which really, really bugged me, but she is working on that and it's helping with her responsibility. Sweet. I actually want you to stop doing that though so you can work on your actual proper homework. And your mum, honestly, she should be going into labor. Yeah, literally she's flashing. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. So maybe take like a little bit of a nap? I don't know, like, ew. <gasps> she's in labor. Okay, no nap, no nap at all. No, we do not want to go over to anywhere. What you need to do, my love, is you need to wake up and we need to go to the hospital. Hello, sweetie, get up. What are you doing? Get up, get up, get up. Okay, I'm gonna reset her because she's broken. There we go, let's go ahead and pop ourselves down to the hospital. Come on, babes, you can do this. What is wrong with the shape of your belly right now? That looked a little strange. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, how about we have you build your logic skill while we're out and you are building, oh, you're honing in on your mental skill, that's amazing. Really wish you could work on a skill while we were out, but that seems to not uh, be the case. That is fine. What are you doing? You're, you're in labor. You're having a baby. You don't need to sit at the computer right now, honestly. Okay, there we go. Why are you grabbing an energy drink? Can you please just have the baby? What is going on? I'm so confused. Hello? Can we please have the baby? What are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? I'm so confused. Like, the baby is gonna come out. Oh my gosh, she's she's taking a nap on the chair. You've gotta be kidding me. When is this baby coming out? <laughs> what on earth? It's time to go. I reset her again because she needs to have this baby. What's going on? I'm honestly so confused. Like, is she broken? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really don't know what's going on here. Like. There's only so much fast forwarding I can do, you know? <laughs> I truly do not understand why she is not having this baby. Why are you just not having this baby? Why are you mopping puddles outside? I'm literally so confused. What on earth? 
what if we put a bassinet down? Will that work? Because I really need you to have this baby. Like, I just, I don't understand why you're not having the baby. Oh, can we, can we not do that? Oh, oh. I had her come home and then I just clicked on have baby hospital again, but this time I'm gonna have it. I'm just gonna send her alone. I mean, the birth certificates are broken right now anyway. So, I mean, I don't know what to do about that. I really don't. Like, I don't know why it was so broken. I'm literally so, so confused. Okay. All right, so let me just go ahead and check the baby names. Also, the last name is Reed because the father is Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. Okay, wow. So I love this name here, Irina. It's a star that is in the Hercules constellation. I actually think that is perfect, Irina. I love it so much. So welcome to the family, Miss Irina Reed. Oh, thank goodness that was just the one baby. Oh, my lanta. Okay, are you gonna come home now? Right, sweet. Now where's the baby? Okie dokie. Straight away, just come over here and, oh yes, dress the baby in a onesie. But also give the baby a feed because they're always hungry the moment they get back home from the hospital. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to... Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to get her pregnant, didn't I? See, that's, uh, that's an issue. Okay. Well, I wanted to take care of the children, but you're, you're asleep, as are you. You are honestly not going to be able to get your responsibility up before Friday. So we're not going to have, we're not going to have Faye actually age up until next week. Anyway, it is like Friday. So, I mean, next week as in like the Monday. Now we also have Galileo who, he still needs to get a skill up. So he's also not going to be aging up this episode, which is perfectly fine. We do have Hallie, which I mean, yeah, he's probably not going to be aging up this particular episode either. So, in that case, what we should probably do is have you talk to this, first and foremost. Now, I might just kind of uh, put everyone to bed, or... No, no. Oh, Zane! Oh my goodness, my love! Let's come over here and... Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, she's too sad to do any sort of romantic interactions. Now, that's not good. So, we might actually have to have you come over here and take a steamy shower really, really quickly. Because I am just going to go ahead and take her out to Henford on Bagley, see if we can get her pregnant, and then worry about the children and everything like that afterwards. Zane, why are you going into a pre-parental panic? That is, that is not good, my darling. That is absolutely not good. You're still super, super sad. Okay, so that's honestly not good. Because I really need her to, like, get over that. <laughs> and get herself flirty. There's also this guy here the uh the husband of the pub owner but i think what we'll do is we'll go to the watson family and see if we can have a child with that thomas watson guy he's like from the trailer or whatever of uh nearly said eco lifestyle of cottage living oh sweet okay so he's right out here that's perfect so oh, we can't give him a flirty introduction which sucks she's too sad to do any sort of romance oh wow uh, Okay, so I guess we'll just give him a cheerful introduction then. That'll help with our charisma a little bit. As long as we know him, we're not going to try for a baby like at his own house anyway. So that's perfectly fine. What I'll do is I'll see if we can actually invite him back to our house. Hello, can you pop up in our relationship panel already? Ah, there we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Beautiful, we love to see it. Maybe we'll just try to get rid of this sadness because <laughs> I don't really know what to do otherwise. So this is Thomas. Oh, he's got some gorgeous green eyes. He seems to like her so far, which is obviously a good thing. Let's give him some parenting tips, sure. And we'll talk about some art. And then after that, honestly, we're probably just gonna go straight back home because we kind of need to take care of our children and our own needs just a little, little bit. Okay, so while I've got the game paused, I'm just quickly gonna check in that everybody is all where they're supposed to be. You still need your responsibility. So go and take a shower. We need you to be in a good mood for school. Where's your homework, my sweets? Oh no, what have you done with it? Come on. All right, sweet, it's just right there. Let's just chuck you in there. Actually, don't even have a shower, do your homework. My goodness, she's like, she's terrible with doing her homework. She's just absolutely ridiculous. Can you do your homework? Yes, good, do your homework. Oh wow, you're tired. Wow, sweetie, I don't know why you didn't get any sleep. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, bring you back here. Now, Venus, my lovey, you can, Go, excuse me hello oh wow okay i don't know what just happened but go to the toilet real quick and then eat some food hello 
Uh, get some food, please. Good, good, good. Now, how are you? Oh, wow, you're in such a good mood. That is so good. Let's have you do some thinking then. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, my stomach is rumbling. That was like, I feel like that was so loud. The microphone might have picked it up. I really need to eat. I haven't been able to eat recently because I've just been, every time I eat, I just get so nauseous and sick. Oh, bye. Oh, cool. So, yeah. All right. Oh, my goodness. I'm everywhere. I'm all over the place. You're good. You're good. Now, you, my love, I also need you to please invite over Thomas. Oh, actually, you're in a flirty mood. Oh, that's actually perfect. So finally, her flirtiness took over her sadness. Okay, we love to see it. Oh no, the baby is sad. Thomas is sleeping, are you kidding? Well, I mean, yeah, we did kind of have him up until whatever time of the morning. <laughs> oh wait, why didn't I do super efficient baby care? There we go. Go do that for Irina. That's such a pretty name. Okie dokie. So you're in a super good mood. You are angry. Oh, are you all blocked out? Oh, well, get over it, my sweets. You've got to do what you've got to do. You're... What are you doing? Oh, honey, you know, you actually can't go back to bed. Does your mum have any sleep replacement potions? She does. Oh, so good. Love it, love it. Oh, wrong thing. Drink that, please, because you actually need to go to school. Faye, my darling, you... Oh, wow, you could be doing better, let's be real. But, I mean... Look, it is what it is. You can't always be in the perfect mood to go to school. Okay, so let's try... Where is he? Let's try Thomas again. It's a little bit later in the day now. Hopefully he's woken up by this time. <laughs> Why are you going upstairs to make a phone call? What are you doing? Make the damn phone call, woman. There we go. Oh, sweet. He'll be right over. Okay, that's what we like to see. Where is he? Come on, where is he? Oh, he's right here. So good. So now that she's energized, let's go ahead and just beguile him. Just be super beguiling. Oh wow, they're already hugging. Oh wow, wow, wow. All right, so he is feeling super beguiled. That's perfect. So let's see if we can actually flirt with him. Oh my gosh, that actually gave us flirtations too. Hold the phones, hold the phones. Hallie just got level three of thinking. That means that he can actually go and work on his movement skill now. We might actually be able to age him up or because I would like to do more than just the one makeover, you know, because it's kind of boring just doing one, but that's okay. Let's just continue working on this little relationship over here because I definitely, definitely want to get Venus pregnant before the episode ends. He is totally, totally into her. Like, wow, like poor Rami, I swear, like what, what? <laughs> okay, we just need to get this first kiss in and then as soon as the first kiss is in play, sweet, then we can go ahead and try for a baby. So if you could just, you know, get that first kiss in, that would be great. Be super, super great. <laughs> and I don't want to miss the screenshot this time. Okay, here it is. Please don't reject us. Ooh, he did not reject us. We love to see it. <laughs> okay, so now that they have had their first kiss, we could actually go, like as soon as the interaction registers, we can actually go and try for a baby in the shower. Okay, just go ahead and do that, my sweetie. And then we'll focus on Hallie for a little bit. Okay, get your skills up, please, my darling. Are you two actually going for it? Because I'll be really sad if you're not. Okay, cool. You're actually doing it. Sometimes the interaction doesn't work and it drives me insane. They're going upstairs. Sweet. So I don't, have to... I don't even have to worry about panning away from them. Oh my goodness, honey. If you are able to get your skills up, then it honestly you've gotten your skills up quicker than any of my other children oh okay well looks like he's actually tired so i'm not gonna push him i'm just gonna let him go straight to bed and we will worry about that in the next episode Alrighty, so they are done and i'm gonna get them to take a photo together really really quickly because we're gonna have to add him to our wall of baby daddies because she is indeed pregnant i checked already that pregnant sins cannot age up. So that is perfect. And then after we've taken a photo, we're obviously going to ask him to just be friends. So could you like, what are you doing? Can you ask him to take this photo or like what's going on? All right, I don't know why they're broken, but I need to reset. This game is just driving me absolutely up the walls. Oh, check him out in his little sunglasses. Let me just kind of brighten this up a little bit. There we go. 
absolutely fantastic. We love to see it. We love, we love, we love. Okie dokie. So now that we know that she's pregnant and uh, we can add Mr. Watson to the baby daddy wall, we can age up Hallie in the next episode because we'll be able to get his movement skill up once he gets some sleep. We have Mr. Galileo who is not going to be getting his A grade till probably Monday or so. Same with Faye because she, I mean, she is pro she's definitely going to get her A grade today, but she can't age up until her responsibility is in range. So with all of that, I am going to go ahead and end today's episode off just here on our beautiful little Venus. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hope you didn't mind that I kind of skipped out a bunch and kind of fast forwarded just a little bit so that we could kind of make a little bit more progress. If you're enjoying the challenge and you're not already subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing so, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And you guys, if you enjoyed today's chaotic episode in particular, I hope that you'll go ahead and click the like button as that really does help me out. And let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, bye bye